Hey everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow Bayou Tara with a little on yop, and I will be wrapping up December 2018 with a reading uh, for the Earth. So, am I on Earth? Oh Lord, that sounded like a weird question. <laughs> so, with my Earth signs, um, did I do? Who did I do? I did. That sounds bad too. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I should be on my earth sign. So that would be Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And I will timestamp this reading. So, all right, let's wrap up 2018 with some love. And we are going to start with Taurus and see what's happening for Taurus December 31st, 2018. And... Make sure this is okay. All right, messages in love for the zodiac sign of Taurus 2018. What are the guided messages for the zodiac sign of Taurus? Taurus in love, December 31st, 2018. Give me messages, please. Clear messages, please. All right, we have the Ten of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is the end of a cycle that has been a burden. All right. Wow, shoot. We're flying out. Two of Swords, air energies here. All right, so we have a decision that needs to be made. Not sure of what choice to make. Air energy here with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be anybody of those particular signs. It's just the energies of, okay? All right. So you have to make a choice regarding a situation that has been a burden. And we have the Seven of Pentacles here, taking an assessment of the situation. Taking an assessment and see how this could hold value to you. We have the Temperance card, the card of Sagittarius. And that is to learn balance and patience. And that is regarding... This situation here with the Two of Swords, that choice. There has to be balance before a choice can be made. All right. We have the World card. You will have victory in that with the completion of a cycle. As we see the completion here, And we have the Three of Wands. Underneath the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Then we're followed with Justice. All right, so the Ace of Pentacles here, that's a new beginning. Oh, here it's backwards in the camera. So this is a new beginning here. This is abundance and prosperity for you. Happiness. See that sun? Bright, happy, joyful. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. There will be balance and justice overall. This is the energy of the reed. You cannot see it yet, but it is here. And there's the sun again. So you will be very pleased and very happy. And everything will work out. You will be victorious in what you're trying to achieve here. Your ships have come in. All right?
this seems like more of a work-related than a love reading. All right. Love messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Taurus. What are messages in love for the zodiac sign of Taurus? have the hermit which is the card of Virgo so you will go within you will meditate have self-reflection you will make a plan before you decide to take your path here before you decide to move on you're gonna have a game plan but you do want to have some time alone to think things through for self-healing And you like to be meticulous. You want to take your time and make sure things are right before you move on. We have the Five of Pentacles. Something has caused you to feel like you're at a loss and someone will be apologizing or you are the one apologizing for something. But all is not lost like it feels. There is a ray of hope here and things can change for the better. Ah, Ten of Swords energy. So this situation is coming to an end. You feel betrayed by someone. Stabbed in the back. Hmm. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Hmm. Someone feels Someone feels like you stabbed them in the back. And that is so bizarre because, okay, so you have the end of that. That's over. Okay. The apology is offered and apparently accepted because of this Nine of Cups energy, which is celebrations and wish fulfillment. So... The apology was accepted. So somebody feels like you betrayed them, but that's going to end with that Nine of Cups energy. And a new beginning in the Ace of Wands. And happiness overall, joy and contentment with the sun. Yep, and all it takes is this communication with the truth, with the swords, the uh, Knight of Swords coming in with the truth. So there will be a victory here in a situation that in the beginning was burdensome, not sure what to do about it, but it needed to balance out. It needed to have balance. Work was put into it, an assessment taken. The end of this cycle, you feel like your ships have come in now. You go within to reflect, 
because you betrayed someone in some form of fashion or they feel like you have, you offer the apology, it is accepted and celebrated with a new beginning and happiness due to that. All right, Taurus, so that was your reading. Let me know what you think of it. Comment down below. Leave me some comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Boop, boop, boop. And comment down below. I always say subscribe, like, and share. But now I want you to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> and like and comment. You can share, but for some reason, the comments mean a lot, too. But I also like to communicate with everybody, and I also want to know if the readings are resonating and how many people the re readings are resonating with, because they're not going to resonate with everybody. It's just not going to happen. I'm just curious to see how many it does or doesn't. All right, we are moving on to Virgo in love to wrap up December 31st here, 2018. I'm going to wrap that up to make room for January 2019. All right, get these out the way. All right, guys, remember these messages, messages, if I could ever speak English, will not resonate with everyone. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below whether the readings are resonating with you or not. And first out for you, Virgo, is the page of wands. Messages at a long distance. And let me drop this down here so you are sending messages to someone someone you're attracted to that is at a long distance could be a fire sign wands or fire energy aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be all right more wands here with the seven of wands you feel defensive like you have to defend yourself for some reason Whoa, too many. I'm going to take these. Wow. For sure, I'm seeing regret with the five. Anyhow, I'm going to shuffle again because if they are meant to be, they will come back out. I just want to make sure that was too many cards, to be honest with you, to come out. Whoa. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Everything's changing for the better for you. Big lifestyle change here. The chariot, you will be moving forward in a situation. You are moving from the old and into the new. You are completely moving I feel towards something or someone, but everything, your whole lifestyle is about to change for the better. Virgo in love. What are the messages for the zodiac sign of Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. The Empress. And the world could be dealing with an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Underneath the deck is the ten of cups, the ultimate happiness. So you are absolutely, most definitely going to be sending out communications to someone that you are attracted to, that you have fire in your soul for, that is at a long distance from you. You will take an assessment of things and feel a little defensive in the Seven of Wands energy. Like you feel like you have to explain. 
what's been going on and all this. Your life is going to change for the better in the wheel of the year, which is the wheel of fortune moving into the chariot because you're going forward. You are physically leaving the past behind and starting fresh. <clears throat> you are going to that person that you desire. And this person is being represented by the empress, the mother figure, someone who is highly intuitive. As you see the crown of stars around her head. Someone who is similar to a goddess symbol, uh, symbol here. The goddess, um, the earth mother. Um, this is someone who is very loving and nurturing and caring. This person could be a parent. Okay? Or you could be a parent. But this is symbolizing fertility and motherhood. And this is who you're moving towards. Someone who, to you, is the Empress. Because you hold this person in such high regard. And that is destined. Because with the world, they complete you. They complete the cycle with you. I mean, I can't get any plainer with that. And with the overall energy, wow, look at this. The overall energies for this reading is the Ten of Cups, the ultimate happy home, family, the whole thing, everything. This is what your ultimate dream is with this person. And it's going to happen because it is divinely guided in the lovers. You see the angel looking over the lovers. This is meant to be, this is your soulmate. Wow, that was quick. All right, Virgo. Let me know how you like the reading. Comment down below. Leave me your comments. Let me know if the reading resonated with you or not. I want to hear for the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let me know what you thought. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Subscribe. If I can speak English, subscribe, like, and share. I do appreciate it. Comment. Leave me comments. Good ones. <laughs> Honest ones. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. And we are going to wrap it up with Capricorn. All right, guys. Last one. Last one. And then y'all can go drink and have fun and drink some for me, too. All right. So, Capricorn in love, wrapping it up. Let's clear the table. Good luck with that relationship there, Virgos. Awesome. I've been having some pretty good readings tonight, y'all. Really, truly good. Wow, it came out again. Virgo, looks like you got some explaining to do or something, huh? Wow. All right. That's done with that. And Capricorn, this is going to be for you. Whoa, this wants to jump out. Ten of Imps, which is the Ten of Wands. Okay, the end of a burden for you too, huh? A lot of fire and earth I find in a lot of these readings. Lots of fire and earth. Love December 31st, 2018. Zodiac sign of Capricorn in love. December 31st, 2018. Wrapping up the year with Capricorn. December 31st, 2018. If you guys would like a private reading with me, book now to still get my holiday special price for my personal readings after midnight. The readings are back on regular pricing. So if you'd like a private reading at a discounted price, you have to book it with me before midnight tonight. Too many. Roll with it again. Capricorn in love. Guided messages, please. 
the zodiac sign of Capricorn in love. Whoa, all right. We have the Page of Wands. This one wanted to come out too with the Nine of Cups. Six of Cups. The Chariot. And the Six of Pumpkins, which is the Six of Pentacles. Underneath the deck, we have the Strength card. Again, there with the Strength. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, predominantly Leo, since this is the Leo card. A lot of fire energy. Changes happening here. Changes, hopefully, for the better. Let's take a look. We have the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Imps here. And this is the end of a cycle that has been a burden. Page of Wands, going out delivering messages of passion, desire, attraction. Underneath this Ten of Wands is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment and celebrations, a dream come true in love with someone from your past. So there will be communications of passion, desire, and love with someone from the past that you will move forward with with the chariot. The Six of Pentacles, more communications, and guess what happens? Equal give and take. You will learn equal give and take. This is equal. Okay, what messages, what other messages do we have for the zodiac sign of Capricorn in love? Zodiac sign of Capricorn. The sun, ultimate happiness, ultimate joy. Wow, so Capricorn, good luck with you for that. You're going to find the ultimate love and happiness with someone from the past that you're going to move forward with. And you're going to be glad you did. Lots of fire energy here, water energy so you're looking at either Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, predominantly Leo because of the strength card. Or water energy here. I mean, really, I have everything but air. Water being Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I just feel like this is energies. I do feel like more of more of Leo energy. I do feel it could be any sign, but that's the energies I'm getting. Okay. Wow, that was super quick for the Earth signs. Well, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Like. And comment down below. I know my hair is aggravating the hell out of me. Comment down below. I do appreciate your support. I appreciate you being here. And I will see you guys in 2019. Oh, okay, comment. Comment. Make me some good comments. Like say hello. Something. Just something. All right. Thank you guys. I appreciate you very much. Bye.